Good evening, Year 8. This is Miss Walsh, and I'd like to begin by welcoming you and your parents to our virtual options evening. I am really sorry we are unable to welcome you and your family to dormers as normal for this annual event. And although it is not possible to fully replicate the rounded experience that this occasion provides, I hope that this virtual options evening will give you and your parents the chance to learn more about what studying certain subjects at dormers will be like. This evening, we will ensure you and your parents have a full understanding of the process behind how you select particular subjects of interest, what subjects the school has on offer this academic year, as well as any entry requirements for particular courses. You will have the opportunity to watch a number of curriculum videos. In these videos, the curriculum leaders will provide you with an insight into the content and assessment of your course of interest as well as guidance about what skills you will develop studying the course. It is also important to think about the future and begin to plan seriously towards future careers. For example, when you join Dormer Wells High School Sixth Form, what subjects will you plan to study? Next you will hear from Mr Finlan who will describe the curriculum and the amount of time per subject. So the core subjects, first of all, the compulsory subjects are in English, Maths and Science. And for each of those subjects, you will do eight hours of lessons per fortnight. Then you have four other subjects that you will study. That's RE, Computer Science, PE and CPSHE. Each of those is one hour apart from PE, which you will do for three hours per fortnight as you move into year nine. Then you have your four option subjects and each of those option subjects takes place over five lessons per fortnight. So it's really important when you choose those subjects to make sure they're ones that you enjoy. Now let's think about some of the positive reasons for choosing the subjects as an option as you move into year nine. Being good at the subject is important. If you're good at it, you're more likely to do well in the subject. So being good at it and enjoying it are two important reasons to pick a subject. Knowing what it will involve for you in the future, what opportunities it will give you as you move into your GCSE years and then into the sixth form and beyond, and how it will help you when you're older. Those are all good reasons to choose a subject. Now some reasons that are not good reasons to choose a subject and if you find yourself choosing one of your subjects for one of these reasons that means it's not likely to be a good choice for you. So don't choose a subject because your friend is choosing the same subject. You shouldn't be choosing it because you want to be with one of your friends. You should be choosing the subject because you want to do it. And there's no guarantee anyway that you will be with your friend in year nine. Like in the teacher who teaches you now, again, there's no guarantee you will have the same teacher. So please don't choose a subject based on the teacher, please choose it based on what you enjoy doing. If it's a new subject, you need to find out a bit more about it. So please do look at the new subjects that we're offering in Year 9, but don't choose something just because it's new. Choose it because it's something that you actively want to do. And you'll get lots of advice over the next few weeks. But it's important that while you listen to that advice, you don't choose a subject just because other people want you to do it. It's important that you too want to do that subject. The IAG meetings, the information and guidance meetings that we will be arranging for you will take place. They will be with a senior member of staff and that will give you an opportunity to talk through the choices that you want to make and why you want to make them. And it will also allow you to ask any questions that you may want to ask or to raise anything that you're not sure about as you make your choice. The EBAC qualification is achieved if a student studies English, Maths, Science, Geography or History and French or Spanish. Students will be expected to continue with a language and a humanities subject in Year 9 and Year 10 when studying at Dormers Wells High School. All students will study English Language and English Literature, which will give them two GCSEs. All students will also study Maths, which will give them one GCSE, and Science, which will give them two GCSEs. 
students in the top three science sets will also study triple science as part of their curriculum in their science lessons in year nine. This will give them an extra GCSE for science. In addition, all students will study religious education, computer science, physical education and CPSHE. You will continue to study the language that you've been studying for year seven and year eight. You will then have a choice for a humanities subject. Please remember that when making any of these subject choices, that if you wish to study these subjects at GCSE, you have to select them for your year nine choices. You will not be able to start a subject in year 10 that you've not previously studied in year nine. Your first choice is your humanities choice. Here you will select either geography or history. You then have the opportunity to choose two further subjects from the list shown on your form. These are art and design, computer science, design and technology, food preparation and nutrition, geography, history, academic PE or performing arts. Please remember that if you wish to study any of these subjects at GCSE in year 10, you will need to select them for your year nine options. It is important that you also choose two reserve subjects. We will try our best to give as many of you your first choices as possible. If we are unable to do so, we will then look at your reserve subjects and we'll discuss this with you further. You must submit your final choices at your IAG interview, which we will update you on shortly. Here is the summary of the options process. You will be invited to meet with a lead, member of the leadership team and year team. We will send information to you about this shortly. You must submit your final choices at your IAG interview. The subjects are then put into option blocks. We will arrange a further meeting with you if we cannot give you your first choice. We will then inform you of your final choices that you have selected and that you have a place on in the summer term. Thank you for listening to this presentation and if you have any further questions, please contact the school.